Oh, Robert, that's only for two. Well, he's finding range early, and that's an ominous sign for the Suns. Seven zip. Rucker. What can he do? I know he's ready for a big game. He wouldn't talk to us earlier this week. Decided to just focus on the task ahead. And at the moment, the task ahead is to get some points on the board. Kruger turns and faces. Finds Tyson. That's a block. So will Tyson get shot for that? I think he was on his way to the basket. No, it's a side to this. I think for the referees, the choice there is with the block foul is has the player picked the ball up off the dribble? If it's in his hands off the dribble and he's on the way to the shot, they'll give the two free throws. If it's still on the dribble and it's a block, it'll go to the baseline. Cameron, got to look at having those. Kruger. That's a travel. One too many steps for Grant Kruger, so that basket won't, basket won't count. And the Suns yet to register a point. And we've had just under four minutes of play. Cameron picking up the defense on Jerome Scott. Screen is set. Looking to run the play. Brenton. This is Adams. He gets it inside to Stiff. Stiff goes to work on Dickinson. Strong play, David Stiff, and he gets two points for his effort. Stiff doing a great job there, getting the matchup, the small matchup with Cameron Dickinson and just overpowering him on the way to the basket. Good pass there from Kruger. Adams says, get it out of there. Well, it just seems like a few nerves from the Suns. I mean, this is their first home game. They've had a tremendous preseason, and uh, I suppose maybe they're feeling the pressure a little bit, feeling that every time they touch the ball, they have to do something with it. Here we go on transition. Rucker. He'll make them pay this time, surely. Yes. The crowd go wild. The Suns have finally registered their first points. Nine plays two with seven, eight minutes remaining in the first turn. Well, I think caution is the key word there. They are playing it very, very deliberately, but uh, there with the opportunity to get in the open court, it's not often that Derek Rucker doesn't make you pay. Oh, nice play. David Stiff It's another two. The Devils scoring all of their baskets at the moment right down there on the McDonald sign right under the basket. And I think uh, Mark Bragg and Dave Lindstrom may have to look at their lineup on the floor. As he said earlier, going with a small lineup is costing them right now. We may see some changes very shortly. Kruger, strong move to the hoop. Nice play, Grant Kruger. <laughs> to Scott, inside to Roberts. What will he do? He goes strong to the hoop. That'll be a block foul on Grant Kruger. Well, Roberts is giving them a bit of trouble at the moment. Well, he's a big body, and uh, you know, Grant Kruger is matched up on him. If Roberts is going to take him to the basket from the perimeter, uh, Grant is not that quick laterally with his size, so it makes it a little tougher him for him to move sideways to get back and regain his position. In that occasion, he didn't, and Roberts is on the line looking at a three-point play right now. Big Jonathan, rebound there from Tyson. Jonathan Roberts, a bit of a journeyman. He's been everywhere. I mean, he's had stints in France, Portugal, Puerto Rico, Greece. Oh, he's a travelling man. Like, uh, and he's gone to the beautiful countryside of Tasmania. Rucker for three. It's all net. And Rucker finds range. 13 plays seven. But Derek Rucker, I think, will, uh, while he'll be looking to play well tonight, will want to find his way into the game rather than try to explode in the first couple of minutes. Another foul there collected by uh, Jonathan Roberts. Creating some real problems down there in the low post, David Stiff and Roberts. He's on the line again to, uh, for another two free throws. Very young side, Tasmania. Average age of around about 23. Roberts is basically the eldest of them all. That's uh, 28 years of age. So, uh, well, I suppose the Suns have been through it, uh, that youth stage. But, um, I mean, they've got some fairly handy youths, Tasmania, this year. Well, they have done well. That's right. And a young guy that I like uh, who come off the bench later on is young Darren Smith. Uh, very athletic. He's a player who can really light things up for them. He's been there now, I think, for three seasons. So uh, he, it's sort of around about the time you would start to expect him to have an influence on what they do. Goal 10 call there. The basket will count. And the timeout has been called. The Devils go to the first break, leading 15 points to nine here at the Furnace.
And welcome back as we have a look at that rucker assist. Tyson very rarely misses from that close range. Of course, the good value is a big man like Tyson running the floor as the first man down on transition with Derek. This is Scott to Brenton. Pops up a three. Stiff is there to pick up the scraps and a nice pass. Inside to Mark Nash. And uh, obviously Mark Nash, uh, one of the young boomers who has just come back from the Australian under-20 team. So not a bad player to come off the bench. Another big boy as well. It's lost nothing in size there. I see Jonathan Roberts is taking a rest as well. That's, uh, that's an interesting move there from uh, Bill Tomlinson, just to giving the big man a break early. And David Blades has come into the game for the Suns at the expense of Jason Cameron, who uh, rolled his ankle earlier this week. So he's probably still feeling the effects of that. I understand David is playing his 74th game for the Suns tonight, and he has, in fact, played more games for the Suns than any other player. Oh, sensational pass, David Blades. Got the reward it deserved. Tyson to get two points. Great assist. Good ball movement there, broke the defence down that time, and as you said, Blades finishing it off. Scott, back to Adams. Crowd starting to get alive now. 17 plays 11. Nash. 10 second warning buzzer is gone. Nash thinks about the shot. Not much happening for the Devils at the moment. So Brenton decides to go on his own. His body's everywhere. Nash comes up with it. But flicks it out with nobody, and the Suns will take possession. Well, the Suns there scrapping for the ball under there. The workaholic Clarence Tyson doing just enough to get a hand on the ball, forcing that turnover off the, off the clean-up pass. Well, rebounding is going to be the key tonight, isn't it, Trevor? I mean, the Suns got absolutely belted on the boards in Adelaide, something like 55 to, to 30 or something like that. And, I mean, that's just uh, inexcusable. Dickinson gets only two, must have had his foot on the line. But uh, that is going to be the key, especially with, with the Devils. I mean, they've got a big side. If, they're not, if the Suns aren't going to block out, well, the Devils can walk away with this one. Well, it certainly is. And, and right now, there's another three, this time from Jerome Scott. Yeah, they're, uh, they're in a match-up zone right now, too. They're not matched up on players. And sometimes in a zone, if you don't really work hard at who you take up away from the boards on that boxing out, it can cause problems for you. There's Brad Kruger there with a little jump shot from the foul line. And... Uh, you know, his game against Perth last week was one point and one rebound. Tonight he's already got four. So, uh, as we said earlier, I think we'll see a little more from him tonight. Well, that's the range, too. That's where they want to be popping them up from. They don't want to always keep looking for Rucker or looking for Dickinson. They can get it inside as well. That inside-outside game can cause problems. Rucker, just a bit too close on Brenton. He's been pinned for the foul. Big size difference there. And the... Uh, the the, uh, the Devils also uh, been very patient. We're not seeing a transition game at the moment. We've got both sides uh, getting up and down the floor. With substitution there, Matty Alexander coming into the game for the first time tonight, replacing Grant Kruger, and uh, there's no loss in size there either, Ken. And Roberts comes back in for the Tats Devils and takes out Craig Adams. Got the chess pieces being moved around fairly early tonight. Uh, the old game of basketball described as the fastest game of chess, and uh, the coaches around the league do a pretty good job of, of shifting players in and out at the right time for the best advantage for their teams. Timmy Brenton coming off a 21-point game against the Canberra Cannons, which uh, the Devils lost by 13. And they did win the boards on that occasion, 39-30, to 30, but uh, lost the ball game. We're looking at that rebound count right now. It's five rebounds to... Uh, to two, uh, sorry, to, yeah, to two for both teams. So uh, there is an imbalance there right now with the Devils in front on the boards. Dickinson, left alone, he'll pop it up. And that's still only two. Dickinson, you've got to find your range, mate. Take another step out. <laughs> he will, no doubt about that. But he started to hit, and any time Dicko starts to warm it up, you've got to watch him very closely. 22-17. Stiff puts the ball on the floor. Oh, sensational move, David Stiff. Went one way, came back the other. Had the defence bamboozled. Nice move there. Had to change his shot on the way to the basket. There was some help defence and still finished it off. Rucker gets Dickinson inside to Tyson. Oh, he's a bit long on that shot. But Alexander picks up and pops it back in for two. 
But Matt Alexander last weekend on the road gave the team eight points in each game and, uh, you know, playing the position he does, which, uh, like Kruger, is on the inside, it's very important that he and Kruger and, and Shane Froling can give the team probably between them 18 or 20 points a game to, to help take some of the pressure off some of the other scorers. Stiff. Outside to Smith. Darren Smith into the game. Averaged about 34 minutes a game last season, so uh, his court time will probably be cut now with uh, Roberts here, but still a fairly handy player to come off the bench, pop in a few points here or there. Steph. Well, he's causing problems inside for the Suns. It's good news for the Tassie Devils. The Suns they're collecting now what is their sixth foul for the quarter, so from here on in we have 2.49 to go. Once you get beyond that five foul, you walk to the line to shoot free throws on every foul. So uh, the Devils have a slight advantage there. They've only collected one foul at this point. Oh. Stiff takes his personal tally to nine. Has a chance to hit double figures. The first player to do so has to play in his first turn. And they'll uh, put the kiss of death on him. <laughs> He's running through to form. Actually, uh, Jonathan Roberts there leapt in way too early. It was a violation breaking the line from the side and uh, may well have distracted Stiff there as he's taking the shot. 25-20, Devils in front. Rucker gets around Smith with ease. Bits flat on the shot, but he cleans up Derek Rucker. Well Great done, pass. finds Tyson. Tyson takes it to his favourite left hand. Fortunately, Matty Alexander's there again to clean up. Well, that's two now that Matt's picked up off a missed shot from Clarence. Clarence will be claiming assist there after the game, I think. So the Sun slowly bridging this gap. Steph flicks it out. Coming over the back on Mark Nash. The Sun's just lifting the intensity there underneath the basket. Uh, I'm impressed with David Stiff, though. He's, he's moving well within the lane. He's getting the ball around that foul line area and operating very well. They're kicking it out sometimes, taking the shot when it's there. He's a, he's a player I like, and I believe he's going to be uh, perhaps a boomer of the future. Well, it'd be great for basketball if he can do it from Tasmania and not have to move to Melbourne, Sydney, or Adelaide. Oh, heard me, he took that extra step out and still found range. 25-24, one point ball game, Devils still in front though. Well yeah, you're right, I, I feel for a club like Tasmania, they worked very hard to uh, to stay afloat there two years ago. There's Darren Smith, nice little turnaround jump shot on that foul line, and that foul line area is presenting problems for the Suns in that zone. Yeah, but Adela, uh, the Devils, I should say, uh, struggled through there a year ago and, and did it tough last year. But uh, looking at this lineup tonight, uh, I think their record could be, could improve this season. There's another three and a foul. And the foul. The crowd go wild. They're waving their three-point placards. Dickinson up to 11. Three from four from beyond the three-point arc. Let's have another look at that one. Well, Dickinson. Great shooter in the sense that he concentrates on the target while the defense is coming at him. There's many occasions where we've seen him shoot that kind of shot with defense close, running him down, and yet he makes the shot, a three-point play, and that gives the Suns a one-point lead. For the first time in this match, that's a backcourt on Jerome Scott. Good defense from the Suns. They forced the mistake. They've now clicked into gear. The half-court trap off that free throw and uh, caught Jerome Scott right on the halfway line. Almost the steal from Darren Smith. Referee Ray Hunt uh, saw it different, differently. <laughs> the Suns, what can they do on this offensive play? Rucker takes it to the hoop. Great move. Three Tassie Devils defenders. Didn't phase Derek Rucker though. And he put it down for two to take a three-point lead under a minute to go in this first turn. This is Nash. Gets it inside to Smith. Stiff. He goes to work on Tyson. Tyson stands his ground, though. Oh, the big hands of John Ro Jonathan Roberts is there. Got a charge That's going to be an offensive charge. Get another look at this one. Did Dickinson have position? That looked pretty good. He moved across but had the two feet down and stationary. 
was able to collect the man square on the chest and uh, discussing some rules with the referees earlier this week that's what you need to do get him in the middle and see how much time is remaining on the bottom right hand corner Dickinson this is for three and again oh, it goes. he draws the foul again for a four point play and the crowd like it that's four of five from the three point line five of seven from the field and 15 points right now with a free throw to come Dickinson starting like he did in Perth a 16 point quarter over there opening the match that's exactly what he gets he takes it to 16 the Suns lead 34 27 the Devils will have last use of possession I'll just work it for a shot stiff thought about it decided to wind the clock down they don't want to give possession to the Suns again. You can see how much time remaining on the shot clock. It's down to 10 seconds now. Oh, Tyson. The huge board gets Rucker away on transition. Time running out on Derek. It's a block. He'll go to the line for two. Well, Derek Rucker took off like it was the 100 metres at the Olympics in Atlanta. He knew he only had about two and a half seconds to get from the backcourt to the front made it in time we have uh, i think it's point one of a second left on the clock he's drawn the block foul to get the two free throws well it's been such a good start from the tassie devils but uh as we said the suns just didn't they looked like they were running a structured offense and uh, as soon as they got in that uh, transition game and started powering they just basically couldn't hold them back from then well, they were patient, and of course, the the, uh, the two four-point plays from uh, Cameron Dickinson is a big turnaround in the game. We have a difference right now of eight points, and that's probably where you see it. So, at half-time, the Devils have come back, as we said, on the back of Cameron Dickinson, who had a 16-point first term. At quarter time, the Suns lead the Devils 36-27. And welcome back. Well, that's what sparked the turnaround for the Suns. Dicko, two big four-point plays. And he ended up with uh, 15 points, or is it 16? We're not too sure. We'll check that uh, stat. It's uh, a big first term from Cameron Dickinson to give the Suns a 36-27 lead. Well, the Devils right now started the game well. It's important that they just simply consolidate at this point and uh, continue with their game plan and not let uh, a couple of big plays like that uh, get at them and, uh, and take them out of what they've started to do. Stiff, well he created a presence in the first term and he's going to continue it in the second. He's up to 11 points, David Stiff. Big boy, but with some good moves there, down with his back to the basket, working on his man and finishing up with a little fadeaway jumper in the corner there. Is Alexander taking it to the hoop? Got a turnover, come off Tyson's shoulder. So Jonathan Scott, not Jerome Scott, I should say. Sorry about that. Jerome? He's playing the point guard. Uh, I know that they were talking at one stage of using Jerome in the off-guard spot and using Timmy Brenton in uh, the point guard, but uh, you have to say Jerome's probably better in the point guard role, isn't he? Well, Tim is, is a player that's uh, spent, is a good young player, but spent a lot of time on the bench at Adelaide, and that's one of the reasons he's moved. And uh, to throw him the responsibility of handling the ball and running the team, probably at too early an age, uh, for him, would not have been a good idea. Here's Timmy Brenton now. Tries to get it inside to Mark Nash. Dickinson got a hand to it. He props for two. Oh, he's Cameron Dickinson. Well, Dickinson's in the zone right now. If it's if it's the ball in his hands and he can see the basket at all, it'll go down. Adams for two. Oh, big shot. Craig Adams from out there. I just see you running back down the floor. Bill Tomlinson has said something to him and he's nodded his head with the thumbs up. So uh, it must have been a congratulations. Probably got the license to shoot from out there. We'll bring the big players out if he starts hitting. The alley-oop play to Tyson doesn't come off. 
but it'll still be a Suns possession from the baseline with 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Tyson goes to work on Adams. Well, he's unstoppable from that close. Well, I think Adams got caught out there too, was, uh, was not ready when that ball came in and uh, Barrett's for too much time. Brenton. He goes stiff. They're looking to him a lot, David Stiff, and that's why. It's a foul. It'll be on David Blades. And of course, that is probably the first hand check call we've seen called tonight, and that's going to be a big factor in the in the league this year and around the world, for that matter. It's a change in FIBA rules, which is the international body. And Shane Froling stepping in for the first time tonight. Part of the Bruce Brothers, Grant Krug is back out there. Coming back to that hand checking, it's a it's a tough thing for the referees. They've been told they have to call the hands-on situation between the man and the ball carrier, or the man in possession. And uh, if you put your hand on and you're asked to take it off, they'll let you go that far. If you put it back, you'll get called for the hand check. And sometimes there's going to be some occasions where we and you, the viewers at home, and the coaches alike, are going to look at it and say, gee, that's a soft call. But, um, that's what they've been instructed to do, and they've got to follow it through. Forty plays 31. Suns in front by nine. Rucker running the show for the Suns. Dicko. 17 points so far. Rucker runs off the screen, gets a bit of a shove from Craig Adams. And referee Mike Reese right on the spot. We've got a timeout called by Devils coach Tomlinson. Let's have a chat to his guys as the Suns lead by nine. Welcome back to another packed furnace sellout number 40. Froling into the game. Sets the screen for Rucker. He loves running off those. Finds Froling. Baseline jumper for two. Little shot down there in the corner that Froling is known for. A good little jumper. And just looking at those shooting uh, percentages there, Ken, uh, the Suns at 76% from the field, 100% from the three point line. And don't, uh, don't underrate the Devils. They're at 63% from the field as well, which is good numbers from both teams. Oh, nice pass inside to Jonathan Roberts. Would have been a good assist from David Stiff. The Roberts will have to go to the charity stripe to earn those now. Well, David Stiff here creating problems off the dribble again. He's got some big matchups on him, and he's getting around those players. Nice little pass there to Roberts, and Roberts has picked up some fouls on the Suns' big men so far. But with greater depth there in that area for the squad, they can afford to give up a few more this season than what they could last year. So 11 points for Jonathan Roberts. He hasn't missed from the field. His only blemish is this one shot from the charity strike. Not a bad start. 42-33. Suns in front. Kruger gets it inside to Froling. That's a great pass. Good ball movement from Blades. Who finds Dickinson. That is great ball movement from the Suns. Well, breaking down a zone defense is all about ball movement. As David Blades just takes a well-earned break there. Another great play from him. Jason Cameron back on the floor. But if you're going to beat a zone, you've got to be able to break it down with the ball movement. And the other way is the great outside shooting. And we're seeing plenty of that right now. Well, Blades hasn't scored a point, but he has five assists. So that's a great record for... A... Well, that's basically his role now. He's not really there to score. Doesn't need to be because they've got players like this. Rucker running the transition. And he gets two points. The Suns starting to fire. 8.25 left to play. Shane Froling there with a big rebound and made his sporting four stitches in his right eye from a clash with Clarence Tyson last Tuesday. So practices this week have been pretty intense. Yes, I heard about that. Jonathan Roberts there with a big play, big strong rebound, sticking it back for two. Just wonder whether the clash was out on the basketball court. Well, he called him Mike Tyson and not Clarence, so perhaps it was after practice. <laughs> 47 35. Rucker. 
Inside to Kruger. He's been pinned for the travel. Bit too Ooh. eager, Grant Kruger. Just a little quick there, shuffling the feet around. It'll be... Right, goes on the drive. Cameron stands his ground. And here we go in transition again. Rucker takes it strong to the hoop. Jonathan uh, Roberts just moved underneath Rucker. And, uh, well, rightly so, Rucker just having a bit to say to Bob Vink. Uh, a bit dangerous, that play. Ended up in no contact, but it came about because of the great athleticism of Rucker and uh, that thing called hang time. Here he goes again, Derek Rucker. Well, I said he was here to play. Big time, Dickinson. Oh, they look good when they run the floor, the sun. You got one of the best transition men in the business there and Derek Rucker getting down the floor. But uh, it's really come from some better work on defense, which has led to the quick outlet pass. It's about Cameron Dickinson taking off out of the top of the zone defense and picking up an easy two. Well, Dickinson on target for a big game. 22 points so far. 51 plays 35. So the Sun's starting to stretch this out with seven minutes remaining until half time. And Tomlinson would obviously be concerned. He's got to try and stop this, this run of play from the Suns. Well, they've got into their running game, and as I said just a moment ago, it stems from them being able to shut down, shut down the uh, the Devils defensively. Now, the shooting percentage there from the Devils at 56% is still pretty good, but it was higher earlier on because they're getting a lot better options inside. The Suns have stiffened up that defense down low, which has allowed them to get the boards, and they've equaled that out now. They now lead the rebounding nine to eight. Earlier in the game, it was five five rebounds to two, so that's a big factor as we discussed earlier. Look at that, 80% from the field too, isn't it? That's, that's just remarkable. I mean, if they keep that up, the Devils haven't got a hope. Well, it makes it pretty tough. I mean, the Devils are in their zone as well. Uh, Bill Tomlinson may have to think about switching to a man. I really don't think he wants to do that because I don't believe he has anyone that can contain Derek Rucker one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that's probably part of his game plan was to stay in the zone, make him shoot the ball from outside as often as possible. But when it's six of six from the three-point line and uh, he said from the field, there's not a hell of a lot you can do about it. You hang in there and hope that somewhere during the game the suns go cold. Well, it's highly unlikely that shooting percentage will continue, but who knows? On their home court, anything is possible from the suns. Brenton gets it inside to Stiff. A bit of ball movement from the Devils now. Outside to Adams. He tries to get it inside. Hits the foot, though, so it will be a Devils possession. And the shot clock will reset. And Shane Trolling making the touchdown there under the basket, but you don't score that way in this game. Scott looks to get it in. Cameron there waiting, and we're on transition. This is the two. Is it going to be a dunk? It is! Yeah. Jam from Rucker! Oh, buddy, that was two hands. That wasn't one. That was two. He was flying. Just take a look at this. This is a guy who's under six foot. Look at this elevation and two hands. Puts it away. Oh, well, he's in for a big one. It's not often you keep Rucker to eight points. He takes a lot of pride in being classed as one of the league's premier point guards. He's going to show it wide tonight. 53-35. Here he is. He's feeling it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I give him a huge rap and he lets me down. Well done. Yeah. All right, good one. <laughs> well, you're off to an early start this year, aren't you? You, you, uh, you put the kiss of death on the foul line and you just killed Derek's three. So let's get in early, both of us. The Devils going to their bench now, looking for some answers. Roberts misses on that shot, picks up his own rebound. He gets a well-deserved two. So Roberts leading the Devils, scoring with 13 points. The Devil's still showing some patience here. I think you know, if, if Bill Tomlinson is going to build anything here over a period of time with these young players, they have to stick to game plans. A lot like the Suns did in their first couple of seasons where the scoreline was not flattering, but the efforts on the court were still good value. And Shane Froling didn't have position there. He knew he came over the top of David Stiff. That's his second personal. 
The Sun's up to four in the quarter again. The, uh, the Devils only one, so that foul, foul count could be a factor again towards as we approach the, uh, the half-time break. And Paul Crombie into the game for the Devils. Another youngster. Well, Timmy Brenton trying everything. Deserve two points for the effort. Rucker is away again. Looks to see what his options are. Still with Rucker. Gets it outside the blades now. And they'll settle it down and run the offense. Cameron cutting high. Gets it back outside to Derek Rucker. He finds a bit of space. Well executed move from the Sun. Well, execution is the key word with this ball club now. Over the latter stages of last year, pre-season this year, the key factor to their ability to play the game as well as they do against the superpowers in this league is the execution of plays. Jason Cameron sticking a foot out there, so the clock shot, the shot clock will reset. 55-37. Raka gets a hand to that. We've got a call off the ball, and it's going to be on Craig Adams. Is that to the crowd or the referee, Mr. Adam? <laughs> the uh, one finger salute. Well done. The uh, to the crowd. They want to be with the crowd, or the referees wouldn't want to have seen it. But uh, Shane Froling there has just gone to the bench for a break. Cameron Dickinson back on the floor. Uh, Froling, I've seen a number of times take that little dive too. He uh, knows how to earn a call. For the Suns now. This is Rucker. Runs off the screen from Kruger. That's a mighty big screen too. Couldn't quite get the pass to Tyson, so Crombie comes away with it for the Devils. Oh, almost a steal from Jason Cameron. Crombie, props for two. It's good. Young Paul Crombie is uh, a Tasmanian boy, born and bred. It's good to see the club down there using some of their own young players too. And uh, Bill said to me earlier tonight too, uh, they don't have a big budget, so there's not a chance to buy that much. But I still like to see clubs around the league uh, looking to promote the players that they have coming out of their own areas. Kieran Mitchell Hill, a local product from North Queensland, is into the game for the first time tonight. Rucker, closely guarded. Darren Smith is giving Rucker a heck of a time. Nice pass from Clarence Tyson to find Grant Kruger. Couldn't quite put it in, but he does draw the foul. Well, Grant Kruger having a happier night tonight. He's three or four from the field so far with these free throws to come. Only the one rebound, but uh, it's been a pretty tough night down under the boards here. They still, uh, it's 11 rebounds to 10, a fairly even count right now. Craig Adams has just uh, copped the technical foul, just saying a bit too much to referee Bob Vink. And uh, not surprisingly, Bill Tomlinson takes him out very quickly. And he's still going on with it. Just, well, Bill didn't seem to say too much to him. It was just a case of uh, coming to his son, uh, take a break for a while. We can't afford that. Now we'll have uh, the shots for the technical foul. Those uh, first ones for Grant Krugers. Rucker hasn't missed from the charity stripe yet. We've got him. <laughs> well, you're uh, you're batting a thousand right now. That's two for two. I'm firing. <laughs> but he corrects it on the second. 57-39. So the Suns extending their defence. A bit too over-eager from Kieran Mitchell Hill. It's just the Suns there going into what they call their L press. It's a half-court trapping uh, structure. And they, they so far in the game have run it straight after each set of foul shots or, or on a number of occasions after the foul shots because you're in a position where you can, if that shot goes down, organize yourself and get set quickly it's a lot tougher to uh, to set those defenses up when the ball comes in the run of play oh, stiff. Stiff. 
getting up there. What a rebound. He was up in the clouds, got two points. To the Devils, 50, uh, 42, trail the Suns, 57. You can see why clubs around this country last year were uh, sought, uh, seeking the services of that young man. Dickinson for three. Not to be on that occasion, but Kruger does well to get the board. He takes it strong to the hoop on McKinnon and gets the foul as well. And the, uh, the crowd's gotten a little spoiled there with, uh, with Cameron. He missed that three and there was a loud ah oh, around the building. As if to say, well, what's gone wrong? It's only five of six now. <laughs> We'll take any seat in the house to watch the Suns in action here at the Furnace. Oh, that was a great pass from Rucker. Tyson, furious with himself not to hold on to that one. Here's the half-court trap again, the L press. Devils managed to get break at this time. Smith gets it inside to Stiff. He's dangerous inside there, flicks it out to Brenton. Brenton just hasn't been on tonight. He only has two points. Rucker looking to exploit uh, the experience he has on Paul Crombie. The youngster from Tassie. Oh, that's a nice pass inside to uh, Tyson. He goes to his favourite left hand, but uh, just can't knock him down. And Grant Kruger there picking up the foul from behind on the rebound. Get a reaching hand up on the ball, but it was the lower arm that had the hand in the middle of the back. I don't think intentionally, but uh, just coming in looking for the rebound. And that's foul number six for the Suns, so we'll walk to the other end of the court. And Timmy Brenton will get a chance to improve on that total. Which he does. 58-44. Two minutes remaining in this second turn. Mitchell Hill. Dickinson. Kruger. Strong to the hoop. Oh. And Tyson with a nice little tip in. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Well, that was almost delicate in nature, wasn't it? He just seemed to float up and just tip it back. There's David Stiff again. Great move down inside. Just too big there for Clarence Tyson, and uh, Clarence is no slouch with his defense underneath. Well, Stiff toiling hard for 15 points so far for the Devils. Tyson. Rucker. Gets around Stiff with ease. Three players converge on Derek Rucker. He finds Grant Kruger. All on his own, and Kruger says, I'll put that in for two. 62-46. It's Kruger taking his tally to ten. Steph again inside, hands everywhere. I've got to try and deny Steph from getting the ball, because when he gets it, he's not really going to stop him. Well, that was interesting, that play there. Um, you know, Kieran Mitchell, who I believe picked up that foul, reaching in with the hands. And I see Mark Bragg get after him from the sideline. What he wanted there was uh, for Kieran to jump in and double team and trap with the body, rather than what he did was just simply reach sideways to try and steal the ball. And uh, nine times out of ten on a reach, you've got to get a real clean piece of the ball to, uh, for the referees not to call you for it. Minutes of play, Raka outside to Dickinson. He thought about the shot but found the better option in Tyson. But it's not going to be a better option in hindsight because uh, Tyson has been pinned for the charge foul. And David Stiff there doing a very good job on defensive transition. He was the man that shot the free throws. Was also the player right under the hole when that pass came in, picking up the charge foul on big Clarence Tyson. Yeah. 62-46, Stiff, looking for something, Crombie for three, Brenton picks up the scraps, 
Well, they're trying to bomb it in from outside, the Devils. Brenton inside gets two points. The Devils there still showing some patience there on offense, though. Uh, a couple of the shots were okay, just simply not going down. Oh, Tyson going strong, gets the foul. And we'll go to the charity stripe to earn two points. That's Clarence Tyson there, able to change his shot in the air. And that's the important thing with uh, the players in this league that have the athleticism. You take it up with the shot, the help defense comes across with a hand up. He's able to lean sideways. And in so doing, David Stiff has gone after the ball and picked up the foul. Tyson wishing that one in. Well, he's 100% for the season right now. That's one of one. Call the season off. Hang on, they played last week. I forget what he got just there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well done, Trevor. Yeah. It's my turn. I told you I'd get in there somewhere. You're, gonna get, you're not getting all the action. <laughs> the 16 seconds left to play in this second term. And Paul Crombie's just going to wind down the clock. Just looking for the one shot. Rucker, not giving him an inch. Oh, well done, Paul Crombie. Three goes at it. So they don't get the chance to score, and at half time, the Suns go to the break with a fairly handy lead. 63-48, the Suns shooting at a remarkable 67%. And uh, Trevor Roberts now has Suns coach Mark Bragg give us a bit of an insight into what happened in that first half. Uh, well, thanks, Ken. And, Mark, uh, a very cautious start, I thought, early. You guys looking to be very deliberate with your, your offences in particular. Yeah, we had some set things we wanted to do, and it probably slowed us down at the start. But then we went out and uh, tried to get a bit more motion, a bit more movement. And, uh, you know, really, for us, it's the defensive end anyway. I think if, you know, if we go on and win the game, it'll be because of the defence, not because of the offence. Although we have played pretty well at the offensive end. Well, Cameron Dickinson, their two four-point plays in that first quarter was just a, a real turning point for you. Yeah, that was a good start. He's shooting the ball very well. And, uh, you know, but we've got to be cautious not to just become a perimeter team. We've got to continue to keep going inside. If we do that on offense, then, uh, you know, it's going to give the big guys some opportunities and also open it up a bit more for guys like Cameron and Derek. You talked about defense a moment ago there. Uh, David Stiff is doing a pretty good job for Hobart inside. Uh, what's the plan with him in the second half? Well, I think, you know, we, we think that uh, that if we force them to play on the perimeter, then we can, you know, we can slow them down and probably stop them. So uh, with Stiff, you have to just take away the paint. He puts the ball on the floor a lot, so we're just going to try and jam down a lot on him and, you know, close it up inside, make it hard for him to put the ball on the floor. Well, thanks, Mark. Good luck in the second half. Well, it's 63-48 to the Suns, and uh, we'll be back in a moment with the second half action. And welcome back as we prepare for the second, arc, second half action as I untie my tongue. 63-48. Trev, just having a quick look at those match stats, uh, they really reveal why the Suns are in front, uh, shooting at 68% from the field, and as we said, Dicko shooting at 88% from the field. Oh, that's just outstanding, and look at that three-point percentage there, 62% to 11. That's five of eight for the Suns, one of nine for the Devils. That's a big, that's a big part of it. The rebounds are, uh, tonight are fairly close, 17-16 apiece, but look at those assists there. The Suns are dishing out the playmaking passes at 16-8. to eight. Okay, the action underway. Third quarter. Inside to Tyson. Well, we heard what Bra Mark Bragg said is the plan from the Suns' point of view. I suppose, Trev, from the Devils' point of view, is basically they have to somehow try and bridge this gap and stop the Suns from scoring. Well, one way is to improve on the shooting percentages, particularly from that range. That makes it one of ten. But more importantly, they've got to work really hard on the defensive end. If you're going to work your way back into a game, you've got to do it with defensive stops. You can't simply outshoot the other team. The way the Suns are shooting, their percentages, you're not going to do it that way anyway. Well, this is the man that has been shooting, Dicko. He misses on that attempt, though. And let's Scott get in the open floor. Devils now just, I mean, there is still plenty of time. They just have to be methodical in their offense and uh, concentrate on the defensive end, I suppose. What do you do? If you, if you get the stops down there, you've then got it. Well, there's a turnover coming up. You've got to take it from the point of view that you've got another uh, 
24 minutes of basketball to play. It's a long, long time. You work your way back in point for point. And from the Suns' point of view, well, they've simply got to keep going with what they're doing. They're playing a good ball game. Just keep the scoreline ticking over. The Suns have gone with their starting five. Inside to Kruger. Oh, stripped of the ball by Scott. And Adams comes up with it. Gives it back to his point guard. Well, the Devils have, have, have got three stops in a row now, but are yet to convert themselves. So, uh, again, they need to be able to pick up on the shooting. Can David Stiff do it from three-point oh, land? Oh. And he can. Well, we talked to Mark at the halftime about uh, David being in the paint, and he's just stepped outside the three and said, well, I can play from here as well. That's what makes him a tough man to guard. He can do it from inside and out. Nice pass to Tyson. I thought it was a bit of a shuffle of the feet. He got away with it, though, I think. For two points. This is Scott. Tried to get it to Stiff again. Tyson comes up with the steal into Rucker now. It's three on one. And it does. gives it to the slamming man, Clarence Tyson. Well, oh, Derek Rucker there, uh, when he was looking back at that pass coming at him on the outlet, has seen Tyson on the trail and just set that up for him. And look at this one, another two-hander. Clarence having a lovely time while he was up there. Adams looks to go inside. Tyson stands his ground, gets it to Roberts now. Good defense from Grant Kruger. Tyson comes up with it. Referees have found a foul in there. It's going to be on... It's going to be on Clarence Tyson by the looks there. Well, he had a hands foul called anyway. There was a lot of reaching in there trying to gather the ball. Referee Bob Vink has found one of the players to be doing something just a little illegal. Brenton, closely guarded by Jason Cameron. He's renowned for his defensive abilities, Cameron. There's a turnover again, Rucker. Will he make them pay? I think so. Tyson trying to get the crowd livened up. Their team is in front, but they have been fairly quiet considering the Suns are leading by such a handsome margin. Well, they just performed their own replay. They didn't need our help. It was uh, the Rucker Tyson assistant dunk. Well, in hindsight, I think referee Bob Vink would have preferred to hold his whistle. The Suns were away through Kruger, but the foul has been called on Craig Adams. And he goes straight to the bench. That's his uh, fourth personal. Well, Mark Bragg there patrolling the sidelines tonight would be uh, would be one of the easier nights at the office that he's had in the course of the last four years. The team performing well and holding a comfortable lead. Cameron gets it inside to Tyson. Oh, he positioned himself well, Clarence did. And Tyson now goes to 17 points. So the big three doing it again. And Grant Kruger this time has chimed in with 10 points. An outside bomb from the Devils doesn't go. On transition, Rucker. Oop. Tried to force the pass on that occasion and Scott got a hand to it. But it will be a Suns possession. If anything, the, uh, the Devils just looking a little despondent at the moment. Uh, you know, again, they've got to forget the scoreline and go out there and play their best basketball and try to pick up something every week and help some of these young players to progress. Well, oh. That's a foul, there's no question of that. Cameron certainly got him on that occasion. I'm just wondering whether uh, Jerome Scott playing that point position might be costing the, uh, the Devils something in the points production department. He only has three. He's good in the open court here. Nice penetration move. Well, I don't know what happened to Kruger. Slipped on something wet there, but Jason Cameron, giving the don't argue, said, well, you'll make it from the foul line and not from here. But yeah, um, Jerome Scott has only shot the ball three times for the whole game, and uh, I believe he needs to be shooting the ball more than that, rather than just distributing the ball to the other players. Well, you just look at Rucker on that occasion, don't you? I mean, Rucker can shoot the three, but he can hand off the assist. I mean, here's the complete point guard, and I suppose that's what every club wants. But uh, I think you're right there. Scott just uh, works on one aspect of the game, and the other one just sort of seems to fall by the wayside a little bit. Well, it depends on the instructions he's got to and, and how he's being asked to play. And, uh, you know, I think he's trying to, to help the team out by, uh, by being that playmaking style of point guard. And uh, I don't know how much he's played of that position. It's, uh, well, we're going to get a travel call, but 
Well, Clarence does a little dance in the middle of the floor. David Stiff picks himself up off the floor. And interestingly enough, uh, Clarence Tyson has scored the last eight points for the Sun, so he's in a little purple patch right now. To Scott, to Stiff now. He's playing a... Stiff is being kept outside a lot so far in this third quarter. Brenton takes the drive. Well, Stiff was pretty lucky there. I think he's coming over the back on that occasion, and he managed to get possession as well. Well, I think Jason Cameron had his hand on the ball, pushing it out, but as you said, there was considerable contact from behind. Brenton. Gets it inside to Stiff. Good steal from Rucker. He forces the turnover, Rucker, and he gets it back now to run the play to Dickinson. Is he feeling it? Is he? What? Cameron Dickinson. 25 points. Five from seven from beyond the three-point arc. Well, there's those three points shooting again. The Suns, 6 of 11 at 54%. That's very good from that area. The Devils just are coming up a bit short, and that's probably the aspect of their shooting that's let them down the most. Here we go again. Well, that's Rucker to Tyson. Play number three. No dunk on the end this time, but still just as effective. Well, it's the Tyson Rucker show at the moment. Dickinson chiming in with the odd three. But they're just tearing the heart out of the Devils. Scott. Stiff David Stiff. With a statement. Thank you very much, David Stiff. The crowd has just gone silent. Well, I tell you who was inside. Have a look at that Devils bench over there. There's not a player seated. They enjoyed that one. I was just saying, David Stiff was being kept outside the paint, as Mark Bragg alluded to in, in your interview, that uh, he wanted to keep him out there. And that's probably why, when he gets inside, it's all his territory. Well, he's got tremendous elevation. He's got a, a, a very good vertical leap. And uh, it's, it's caused problems for the Suns throughout the night down in there. And uh, just unfortunately for the Devils, that uh, they have been able to back him up a little bit better around him and perhaps converted some of the passes he's kicked back out of the middle. Had they done so, we might see the scoreline just a little closer. Clarence Tyson there also picked up his fourth foul. He's gone to the bench for a break. 76 plays 54. Rucker. Alexander with a strong move. We have a timeout call as Alexander gets another two points. 78 54. The Sun's doing it very comfortably indeed. Welcome back. Six and a half minutes remaining in this third quarter. Devils looking for some answers to try and uh, stop this run. 15-6 at the moment in the third term. The Suns have gone. And Tyson has scored, what, ten of those, I think, now? He has. Yeah, he had eight straight there at one stage. But doing a tremendous job, Clarence, of running the floor on the break, too. You know, he's, he's coming out from under the net and getting down in the open court with Rucker on the fast break. There's Nash. Well, oh. he doesn't get it. I was about to say he picked up the scraps. So here goes Rucker again, calling the play. Tells his player where he wants them. And that's exactly where he wanted Dickinson. Not on that occasion, though. The Devils, what can they do with it? Scott gets it to Stiff. Oh, that's a nice move, David Stiff. Look to get the pass to Roberts. Suns do a good job there on that occasion of spoiling and getting him to cut off that pass. Some good uh, split line help from one of the other players. Oh, there was Cameron on the baseline, just lurking free as a bird, but he wasn't looking for it, Jason Cameron. Scott, will he pop up the three? No, decides to give it out to Brenton. He'll pop it up. Oh, Timmy Brenton, well, finally. He's got one. One from six attempts, Timmy Brenton. It's been a hard night for him. 
Well, in fairness to Tim, the, uh, the Suns' defensive intensity over the last two quarters has picked up considerably. There has not been too much on the offering out there that's he, that he's had a good look at. And if you're ever going to become a shooter, you can't do it at practice. You've got to take the shots in the game. Oh, there it is. Well, Why there's not, a shot. Matty. <laughs> He had so long to think about that, uh, he finished up talking himself out of it. Brenton with another look at it. Stiff. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh the two reverse hands. jam for two. Well, there was no one within QE of him then. Well, he's a, he's a quality player, there's no question. Let's Here he comes. It. Just so easy. Look at that vertical leap. That was just didn't seem to be any effort at all to get that ball up there for the two-hand reverse. And oh, there's Shane Froling. Shane Froling deserves two points. He's going to work hard for it though. Oh, Shane. He's practicing his <laughs> shooting action there. Shane, you've got to stand up, son. Can't do it from down there. Such a good move. I just think he thought, oh my goodness, it worked. What do I do? <laughs> Well, he's going to get the chance to convert it from the line. David Blades back into the game. Jason Cameron taking a rest. As always, having worked himself to a standstill, particularly on the defensive end. So Frolls makes it a 20-point ball game. Make it 21. 80 plays 59. Scott. Crowd has just gone deathly quiet. Well, that's been called as a um, as a hand, a defensive hand, knocking that ball out. I don't know whether Tim uh, Brenton's just lost contact with it with a bit of sweat on the ball, perhaps, but uh, he doesn't mind. He's going to take the ball back. Substitution there. Darren Smith coming back in for Mark Nash. And as we said earlier, Darren Smith will probably uh, have his minutes down a little bit on last year. But is still, uh, even at his age, one of the more experienced Devils players. Smith shoots over the top of David Blades. Good shot, Darren Smith. And he goes to five points for the game. And Dickinson gets it back in the hands of Rucker. He finds Froling, who in turn gets it to Alexander. So the Suns running their offense and running into screens, some pretty big ones at that. Rucker, five seconds left on the shot clock. We've got to get something away, folks. That'll do. Will it count? I think it left his hand. It'll be interesting to see. No, oh. basket has been disallowed. It's an interesting call from referee Ray Hunt. There's no doubt about the charge foul, but I just thought he got the ball away in time, which in turn would have made it a push foul. But no, nah, not to be. Well, there hasn't been too much go against the Suns tonight. They've had a pretty good run. Most things are falling their way. Still shooting a great percentage at 65%. Some good ball movement here from the Devils. Timmy Brendan for three. Matt Alexander making a heck of a lot of space down there for that rebound. Just a bit. <laughs> Robert's not going to be denied either. Oh, nice pass from Timmy Brenton. The no look to Jonathan Roberts. Who had David Blaze to shoot it over. Something of a David and Goliath effort there. Dickinson gets it inside of Froles. Good pass from, to David Blades. But he had nowhere to go. So on transition, here comes the devil. Out to Brenton. It's a bit long. Rucker is away. He's got a few green shirts in front of him, so he does the only way Derek Rucker knows how. Let's prop and shoot it from here then. He just add another $20 on that contract. Well, the Devils and the Suns have played each other six times up until tonight over the last uh, three years since the Suns have been in the league. And in fact, uh, they are the only team in the league that the Suns have a winning record over. It's actually four games to two. And the Suns have won the last four straight. So uh, they're looking like holding that record intact tonight. Skip. This is Roberts. 
So the, the Devils are toiling hard, and to their credit, they're not giving in. They're just going to keep going at the Suns. Will it be safe to say that uh, the Suns will win this? It's only a matter of by how much, but uh, the Devils just keeping at it. Well, Darren Smith did, made a, did a terrific job there of fighting for the ball and then managed to find some space, pick up the foul and get to the line. And, yeah, if, you, if you're going to have a future, if any club is going to have a future, you can't do it by buying, you can't do it overnight. And, uh, you know, the, the, it's well known that the Devils Club struggled financially uh, two years ago. And I think Bill Tomlinson uh, deserves a lot of credit for... Uh, for his efforts with this ball club and sticking with it and, and uh, helping some of these young guys. And I think maybe two or three years down the track, we might see some more of the, uh, perhaps some of that will bear fruit for them. Well, you can do it by buying, but you're just cheap. The Giants, <laughs> don't you? Well, I don't know. I, the, there's a lot being said about the Giants, mate, but I'd like to look at a lot of the rosters around the league with some of these big teams. And uh, I tell you something, with the kind of dollars those guys demand, uh, I'd love to know how they get them under the salary cap. Perhaps that salary cap is... Uh, Creative account. Exactly, yeah. It's there, but I wonder how, uh, how how difficult it is to police. So Stiff takes his personal tally to 24 points, shooting at 83% from the field, David, uh, David Smith, Stiff, and he's also got nine rebounds. So he's doing it both ends of the floor, just needs a bit of help. Froling goes to the hoop again. Shane Froling is showing he's got some guards moves out there again this season, taking it in from the foul line, drawing another foul. That's his fifth foul. at the line it's just two he likes that one Darren Smith brings down the board for the Tassie Devils Suns now extend their defense just look at uh, the guard scoring there. I mean, that basically tells a tale, doesn't it? Derek Rucker, well, we know that he's going to average between 20 and 30 points, but look at Jerome Scott. Well, the scoring, but again, Jerome has only shot the ball three times for the entire game. Well, there's the fourth shot, and it's in, which takes him to six points. But the, the stat there, too, is the eight assists from Rucker compared to the one from Jerome Scott. And that's not necessarily a reflection on Scott directly. There's Rucker taken into the rack. He'll draw a foul. But the, the reality is that you have a player who probably doesn't play point guard normally. He's been shifted to that spot. It may well take him some time during the course of this season to mould himself into that role. Of course, Darren Perry has gone from the club down there this year too, and there's, uh, there really doesn't seem to be any backup for Scott in that position. He's been out there all night. And nobody else has rotated into the point, so uh, he's going to play it whether he likes it or not. Rucker goes to 20 points. 86 plays 67. Almost another turnover from the Devils. Smith gets it to Roberts. He takes his bus trip a bit too quick. And gets pinned for the travel. Rucker now quickly down the other end of the floor. This is where he likes to play it. Well, the Devils have come out of their zone and gone into man-to-man. -man. Froling with Good the easy way. drop step and two. Another great pass from Rucker. Assist number nine. Well, the Devils, as I said, uh, shifting into man-to-man -man now, mixing it up a little, trying to do something a little different. There's Derek Rucker. Great little bounce pass. Nice seal there from uh, Shane Froling. Got the man on his hip. And a little drop step and a layup. Help defence just a little too late. Of 
course, with the uh, with the Devils going to man to man, it's uh, probably something that will suit Derek Rucker a lot. He likes those one on one matchups. And a little bit of space out on the floor. The guys will get out of his way occasionally and let him take his man on his own. So I think we're it's safe to assume that we're going to see a lot of the Suns bench players getting some time in this last quarter as we wind down the third quarter. It's going to be an offensive foul on Derek Rucker. Good play from Darren Smith. Well, again, it's, a, it's an understanding of, the, of, of what the referees are looking for uh, in those situations. And I had a long talk with Bob Vink there earlier in the week and just asked him to give me some idea and some interpretations on how they intend calling things. And with the charge foul, there was a perfect example right there and then. If the, play, the player can still be moving a little sideways, provided that he gets the offensive player square on the chest, and they're going to give the charge foul on that call. Uh, just a little bit of byplay there between Kieran Mitchell Hill and Darren Smith. Mitchell Hill doing something Darren Smith didn't like. Took a short swing at him and Mike Reese stepped in and called round one to an end. The Devils extend their defense now. 26 seconds left to play in this third quarter. Rucker will just wind the clock down. Use every available second to him to get away a shot. the warning buzzer goes. Shot clock's down to eight seconds. Rucker. Probably doing a bit too much on that occasion, so the Devils will have last chance at it. Or will they? No. Darren Smith, you fumbled that one, son. So 1.4 seconds left for the Suns to get some sort of shot away. That'll do. Here it is from Cameron. It's into the crowd. Well, he hit one of the sponsors' boxes. I guess we give him something for that. So at three-quarter time, the Suns go to the last change. The handy lead, 88-69. Welcome back to the Furnace. Last quarter action of the Mitsubishi Challenge Round 2. The Suns in the box seat to register their first win of season 1996. Clarence Tyson back on the floor there in the jump. He had 10 points at the start of last quarter before he picked up his fourth foul. So the Suns get first possession eventually. <laughs> Through Cameron, who in turn gets it to Rucker. I'm a bit surprised about this crowd. I mean, the Suns are in front, they're doing it well, and this crowd is just very, very quiet. Well, I think they're doing something that they didn't do a lot of in the early seasons, and that's uh, relaxing and enjoying the fact that the team has got the game under control. And many of the, well, there's another offensive call. Well, Darren Smith Darren has Smith. done it again. And again, as I said earlier, forget about the feet, forget about. Uh, whether the man is uh, is moving a little, what the what the referees or the way they're approaching it this year is that if you can get the man square on the chest, you'll get the charge call. So there's a little bit difference again in the manner in which the game is being called. And I feel for the referees a little too, Ken. I think at times there are probably a few too many changes at the beginning of each season, and it takes it. It's difficult for them to adjust their game, and in turn, while they're trying to do that, they cough an awful lot of criticism from players, coaches, and. Uh, and at times from the media. Here, yeah, here. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. I think they're just making way too many changes. Let's just get back to the simple, basic things of basketball. Raka. Nice floating jumper for two. Well, that's a little more like the Derek Rucker we know. 23 points at 73%, 8 of 11 from the field. Well, prior to the game, I thought Derek Rucker would have a 40-point ball game because he just seemed so fired up and so intense. But uh, he certainly hasn't let the fans down. In fact, the whole team has played very well tonight, the Suns. So have the Devils too. Let's, let's take no credit away from them. They're in there trying. Here goes Dickinson. He gets the foul. And that'll be on Timmy Brenton. Well, let's take a look at this one. Dickinson there, knowing the man was coming, has just picked it up, taken it to the rack. 
you see him looking over his shoulder. He saw the defense there. He said, well, if I can get to the basket, there's a, probably a 95% chance I'll get the foul shots. Yeah, you're talking about the Devils, and I sort of think back to a comment that Derek Rucker made to me in, a, in an interview at the end of the last game, and, and incidentally was against the Devils here at home. And his comment was that uh, we've played some good games this year, and I think we're heading for places that are a little better than this. And I think that's what the Devils have got to be aiming for. Well, Chairman David Carmichael has basically said the board would like to see 13 wins this season. The coaches and players would prefer him to say 12. I don't know what the big difference is, but... Playoff. That one, one game, one game could be the difference in playoffs. It's been, been you know, play that's exactly what it is because you say 12 games, 12 games is normally just out of the eighth spot. The board members are saying, let's get to that eighth spot, let's play playoffs. And I think, you know, the, the, guys are, the guys are aware of it. They're looking for that. They're hunting for it. And uh, tonight is the first step towards that aim. Is it going to go in? There's hands everywhere. We're playing volleyball at the moment. Oh, David Stiff. I only wanted to count that too. And I'll tell you something, for a big guy, his, uh, his ball skills uh, are pretty damn good. And that's, uh, that's something that will hold him in good stead when it comes time for the likes of Barry Barnes, the Australian Boomers coach, to take a look at him. Uh, he's not going to necessarily want David to step in the floor and become a centre or a four man. He may well want him to play a three, and if he keeps developing those uh, those ball skills, he could play the small forward and handle the ball in the open court as well. There, wow. Well. Oh, All right, David Stiff. On cue, thank you, Mr. Stiff. Barry Barnes, did you get a look at that? <laughs> well, have a look at this. There's a shot there from, uh, from Jonathan Roberts. David Stiff just flashes over everyone and puts it away. Jerome Scott. Dishes off to Jonathan Roberts, and he just floats it in for two points. So 92 plays 77. The Suns don't want to shut up shop just yet. Because these devils will keep coming at you. Brenton, the fakes, gets rid of Tyson. Oh, Stiff again with another dunk. Oh, doesn't he like that? Just waiting there for the mistake. It came from Jason Cameron and Stiff just grabbed it and jammed it home. Well, let's take a look at that scoreline. It's now a 13-point ball game, 92-79. Not surprisingly, the Suns coaching staff want to have a chat to their players. Look at this, Stiff, consecutive jams. Well, look at the reaction, too, on the way down. And he brings his side within 13. Welcome back as the Sun Seekers give us a bit of action during the timeout. Trying to fire up their lads. They've gone a bit to sleep at the moment, or I don't think they've shut up shop. Rucker gets two points just to inspire his team and say, come on, fellas, it's not over yet. Well, I see Bill Tomlinson up on the sideline again over there. I mean, they've got a sniff of the scent here now. A 13-point game now, 15. It can turn around quickly, and I think the Suns uh, started to lapse, and David Stiff made it happen for the uh, for the Hobart Cats Devils. So they get a defensive stop there, the Suns. Rucker trying to get it inside to Tyson. That'll be a Suns ball. Well, I think the word in that Suns timeout would be uh, get your act together on the defensive end more than anything. Make sure that no scraps are there. And the, uh, the Devils there just prior to that break also were running half-court traps. So the Suns have got to be sure that their uh, ball security is good. Frolling. Gets it to Dicko. 94-79. Still eight minutes left in this ball game. Rucker with a huge three. Bit long on that one. Frolling does well. And I'll get another 30 second shot clock. Tyson. He won't shoot it from out there. Rolling. To Dicko. He spots up and shoots for three. Cameron Dickinson, his sixth three pointer for the game. And that's sixth of nine at 67%. That is very, very good shooting from that range. Well, the Devils have called a timeout. Obviously concerned that uh, their chance is slipping away again. 
I'd say Bill Tomlinson more than anything was a little concerned with the defense. The Suns are able to come down and answer the call on the first two, three plays. Back to an 18 point ball game. We're going to have a listen to uh, the coaching staff from the Suns. A little difficult to catch all that was being said there, but David Lindstrom, son's assistant coach, having a lot to say in that particular timeout. A little bit there of what I could catch was uh, looking for Rucker to penetrate, break the defense down and try and bring David Stiff towards him because Stiff is playing in under the basket in that center position and uh, perhaps find Clarence or one of the other big guys free for the easy two. So Jerome Scott, very quiet in this game. Roberts stripped of the ball but uh, not legally Dickinson has been pinned for that foul well the referees uh, making a call that some of the people behind us didn't like but nevertheless it doesn't matter Still the Devils have possession looking to try and bridge that gap Thought about the three. Gives it to Smith. Looked like a bad pass, but uh, Suns just deflected that away. So 21 seconds left on the shot clock. Out to Scott. This is for three. Tyson gets a hand to it. Into the waiting hands of Derek Rucker. He gets it to Froling. He goes strong to the hoop. Shane Froling gets the foul. And will go to the line for two shots. Well, Froling having a fine game tonight there too. And there's Derek Rucker once again in the open court, finding the right man. As Froling set himself for the contact, got it on the body, gets another two free throws. Just looking at that uh, that power forward position there, uh, again it was an area that was, has been a scoring area or problem for the Suns in recent seasons or throughout their, uh, their time in the league. We have Froling there at eight points with this one to come. Make that nine. Alexander with six, that's 15. Kruger with 10. So those three guys rotating basically in that position have given the team 25 points tonight, and that's, uh, that's pretty important to, their, uh, to the balance in their scoring. Scott. Inside to Roberts. He had a good start to the game, Jonathan Roberts, and then just, uh, well, I suppose the defense shut him down. Well, he's been out there all most of the game, and uh, at times the uh, the Devils fell into taking probably a few too many of the long-range shots. I mean, it's nice if they go in, you're on a roll. If they're not going down, perhaps you need to work a little longer. With a player like Roberts playing in those low post positions most of the time, unless the ball is being entered to him on the pass, it's difficult to score. And particularly if, uh, if they're taking the perimeter shots and you're getting boxed away from the rebounds. I was just looking at his, at his stats there. He's still shooting 56% from the field and 83% from the charity strike and has six boards. So I do take that back. Sorry, Jonathan. Well, he's, I, guess it, I guess you could call it a quiet achievers night because he hasn't done anything that's, uh, that's like David Stipp has put down four dunks tonight, entertained us with some tremendous action. But uh, Roberts has gone about his business with 24 points to David Stipp's 28. Blades back into the action. So the Suns running their offense again. Shot clock down to 12 seconds. Inside to Tyson. Dicko. Puts the ball on the floor. Got a bit of a bump on the shot. Asking the referee about it. It's all academic now as the Devils have possession through Crombie. He spots up for three. Stiff trying to get to the boards. He's been blocked out well on that occasion. Rucker. Oh, yes. Great pass. Nice assist, Derek Rucker. And your fellow import doesn't let you down by making sure it's an assist. Well, this is Rucker assist. Clarence Tyson, two, for the fifth time since halftime. 
So those two have had a tremendous night together and probably close to the best, probably close to the best import combination in the league this season. go to a timeout, uh, the Suns leading 101-80, so doing it quite comfortably just having a look at the game stats as they stand at the moment there the Suns were shooting something like 80% at half time from the field and 88% uh, from three point territory, so obviously that has now come back to, I suppose what you'd expect, but still that field goal shooting percentage is very good isn't it? 63% is excellent, and uh, it, again it's, it's probably backed up by, as you said those early stats being so high but like we said earlier in the game, it's, you can't maintain an 80% shooting percentage for the entire game. That's not going to happen unless you have a record-setting night. The, uh, the Devils, on the other hand, at 43%, a little bit down. And look at the rebounding. So the Suns losing it there again. The Devils last week also won the boards but lost the ball game. So they're getting the rebounds, but uh, they're just not converting those into points. Well, that's right. And there, you look at the assists there too. Uh, you know, the, the playmaking passes, the pass that the, creates the points for another player. The Suns up there at 26 compared to the Devils 12. And again, uh, I think that stems from the fact that the uh, the Devils in their lineup this year don't have a genuine point guard. That's not a criticism of Jerome Scott. He's a two-man filling in in that position. So that's something that They've, that's their roster for this year, but I'm sure that uh, Bill Tomlinson will look to address that as he approaches next season. Tyson can't add the bonus. Travis Lindstrom into the game, son of uh, a son's assistant coach, Dave Lindstrom. Alley oop pass to oh. Stiff, right on the money. Timmy Brenton, perfectly weighted pass, and Stiff didn't let him down either. Let's well, have a look that, at that. Uh, is that dunk number five? Yeah. Perfect pass. David Stiff knows just what to do with it. Well, the Devils have certainly been giving us some highlights. Rucker goes to work. Just weaves a bit of magic. Timmy Brenton and called for the push. A little, little shove there on the side. He's not happy about it. Well, there again is that hand check call. If you, uh, if you pick up the referee's signal, you'll see them with their with one hand at their hip level, indicating to the bench as they push forward with it. That's a hand check, and again, that is a perfect example of what people would consider a soft call. Derek Rucker was always going to score, but the referees have been told if it's a hand check, the hand check well, gets called. That's why it's a stupid rule too. I'll say that. Absolutely. Because, I mean, people like Derek Rucker. He didn't get phased by it, and I mean, obviously. Point guards like that are going to exploit that and use it to their advantage, which is fine, fair enough. But, I mean, it's just a ridiculous rule. It shouldn't be there at all. Sure, if they push and shove, call it. But, I mean, a little touch on the waist. I mean, <laughs> well, I, heard, playing here. I agree with you. And I, I, I heard a comment made uh, recently that um, you know, it's, it's a rule that's come through FIBA, which is the international body. And uh, the person who made the comment said, uh, well, you really, if they're having a hand check problem in Turkey, why do we change the rules in Australia? You know, realistically, this is the NBL. We don't uh, necessarily have to follow everything step by step that is being done worldwide. Although Can you imagine the NBL if they right put now, a hand check rule of the NBA. Well, it's, it's been there. Yeah, it's been there last year, but I don't police like it like this. <laughs> and again, I don't, I'm not criticising the referees there. They've been given. Oh! There's David Lades. The Lades gets on the score sheet with a three. Well, there's only three players left to score from the Suns bench. That is Jason Cameron, Kieran Mitchell-Hill, two players who would normally have scored by now, and Travis Lindstrom, who is in the game at the moment, so he gets his chance. Kieran, I see, is just about to check in as well. We're looking at the distribution of the scoring tonight. Uh, Rucker, 28, Dickinson, 30, uh, both at high percentages. Uh, Rowling 9, Kruger 10, Tyson 21. There's been a good distribution there tonight. Whereas on the other hand, for the Devils, it's Stiff with 30, Roberts with 24, and then Brenton with 9 have provided the bulk of their scoring. There's Roberts working very hard in there for that shot. Tyson coming up with anything. Gets the board, gives it to Rucker. Oh, oh that would have been sensational. Roberts. And the foul is called on Matty Alexander. The 107-84. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this is where I thought they would have bought the breach in by now, the Suns. I mean, Rucker's still out there, so is Tyson. I mean, here's the opportune time now to get your bench in there and start playing. Get well, yeah, minutes. perhaps down the track you, uh, you might require some of those guys, but they, uh, the Suns come out with the, pretty much the same game plan here every week. They, uh, they play the same players in similar rotations. And I guess if it's working, it's working. You don't fix something that's not broken, but I, I get your point. You, you know, realistically, at the end of the season, perhaps some of those guys with a few extra minutes might be just what you need to help you out. Rucker, 28 points tonight at 71% from the field. Still with Rucker. Oh, the no-look pass. <laughs> Beautiful pass. The Clarence Tyson, oh, they like it. That's, uh, what was that? Is that number six now? Rucker to Tyson. This is almost like uh, Bowl Lily Court Marsh. <laughs> oh, it's an air ball from David Stiff. He is human. Oh, Rucker now is just really putting it on. That was a one-handed pass. Great tip there from Kieran Mitchell. He'll almost got the ball to Tyson for two. Well, they get another crack at it. 109.86. Oh, 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 oh. Into Tyson. Oh, the give and go to Rucker. Hit something slippery on the floor and went straight down. They're dangerous, those sort of situations. Well, he might get a place in Disney World on ice next month, perhaps. <laughs> the Devils. Will Tomlinson has gone to his bench, taken out uh, Jonathan Roberts and Timmy Brenton. He's brought on a couple of bench players. And of course, David Stiff too also, mate, and he has had a tremendous night for his club. 13 rebounds, 4 assists, backed that up with 30 points at 81% shooting, 1 of 1 from the 3-point line as well. Three minutes left in this ball game. Darren Smith flicks it outside to Aaron Cole. His first shot of the night's not a good one. Matty Alexander, give us a dunk. Oh, yeah. Damn from Matty. Well, I think I've seen more dunks tonight than I've seen in the whole three years we've been covering games here in, in Townsville. It's been some not pretty impressive yet. action. Travis Lindstrom finds Rucker. No call on that situation. Oh. Clarence Tyson, I don't know how he does that. He just brings the ball away from 180 degree angle. Well, it's a little bit of uh, the ability to leap, and, uh, and it seems to be hanging in the air. Well, in reality, a player can't do that. But Michael Jordan, for years, has defied that principle and said, yes, I can. Now, Clarence, Clarence has the, there's Derek Rucker taking a well-earned break. I guess David Blades will take over the point guard responsibilities now. And Derek there, 28 points, 67%. 13 assists and 8 rebounds. Now, how close is that to a triple-double? 13 assists, isn't that remarkable? Well, he's had a great night in the open court, and I guess uh, to make an assist, you've got to have someone to get the ball to, and Clarence Tyson has done a tremendous job of running the floor. This is Cole. Crombie. Youngster from Tasmania. Got plenty of court time tonight. He's done a fairly good job with it as well. Matty Alexander didn't even have to jump for that rebound. They're the ones he likes. Well, that's that big body making space. I mean, if you can block out well, quite often you can do this, that. And here he comes to running the floor well. Mitchell Hill. He buries the three, so he's on the score sheet. Two to go, fellas, Cameron and Lindstrom. Well, that's Kieran Mitchell Hill's very first shot for the game. He really does, over this course of this season, need to become more of a scorer for the Suns. He has got a great shot from that range. Well, I suppose it's a confidence thing, isn't it, Trev? You've just got to get that confidence back, especially for shooters. You look at someone like Dickinson, when he's got that confidence, he's firing. Well, that's exactly right. Kieran is very much a confidence player. I know him very well. I actually played club basketball with him here probably four or five years ago when he was coming through as a youngster. And, uh, you know, like any player, he has his ups and downs mentally on the floor. And uh, when he's on fire, he's on fire. It simply hasn't happened at this level yet. I really think that all he's got to do is go out and have maybe two or three games where he finds the range and gets comfortable. And from there on in, the ball game will be in his hands. There's Clarence Tyson taking a rest. Oh, 
nice pass inside to Matty Alexander. Good work though to Blades, and he takes his assist tally to six. That's a pretty impressive stat for a player who's come off the bench tonight. Cole has been pinned for the travel. The 119 left to play. The Suns have two players left before the entire squad has scored. Jason Cameron is on the bench, so he probably won't get the opportunity. But Travis Lindstrom is out there. He needs the ball. The but they hit the side to Matty Alexander. That was a good pass from Kiron. And Alexander up to 12 points. Smith for three. It's long. Travis Lindstrom gets the board. Licks it out to Alexander, who's running the floor well for a big fella. He tried to get the pass to Mitchell Hill. It went straight back into his hand. Assist Paul Crombie. He <laughs> said, well, if you don't want it, I'll take it. That's two points. Thank you. Well, the Suns aiming for 13 wins this season. Or to make that playoff spot if they can. There's another great shot inside. Aaron Smith. And realistically, this was step number one. You must win the games that are there to be taken and if you're going to make it to that next level. Oh. Lock shot, Grant Kruger. Good work, Granny Kruger. And we're away, Mitchell Hill. What's he going to do? He takes it strong to the hoop. Not much doubt about the foul there. So Mitchell Hill to the line for two shots. Suns posting a big win here. 30-point leaders at the moment. Oh. We said 15 before the game, Ken, or you did, and I agreed with you. And I think uh, I was a little cautious. Perhaps you were the same in saying more than that after their, their efforts on the road last weekend. We, we really didn't know how it was going to affect their confidence. They started very cautiously at the beginning. But uh, once Dickinson hit those two four-point plays, it seemed to turn the whole thing around, and they were off and running. Uh, the crowd are now alive. Time to party. Suns have posted their first win for season 1996, and you just have a feeling it's the first of quite a few this year. Well, we hope so anyway. Paul Crombie, good on you, young son. He deserved it. He's been just toiling away there. The young 21-year-old from Tasmania gets a three-pointer. So in the end, the Suns, convincing winners on their home court. They love playing here in front of a capacity crowd. The Suns, 123. The Devils, 94. We'll be back in a moment to wrap it all up. Well, a quite convincing win in the end for the Suns, 123 to 94. Nice way to start the season at home here at the Furnace. Uh, let's have a quick look at the match stats before we talk to the MVP tonight. And there's quite a few of them out there for the Suns, but Derek Rucker is our MVP for round two of the Mitsubishi Challenge. And just having a look at those match stats, well, as we've said throughout the entire game, that field, shoot, field shooting percentage has just been remarkable all game. Well, it certainly was. It was so high earlier on. We were at 80% plus from field shots and three-point shots, which was tremendous. Uh, rebounds fairly even, but look at those assists there, 32 to 15. And again, that's the Suns' execution, execution of plays was just outstanding. Well, one man who had basically a third of those uh, assists, Derek Rucker. 13 assists, 28 points and uh, 8 rebounds. Not a bad day at the office. Well, it's a lot better than last week. And, and uh, I think the whole team deserves credit for really bouncing back and showing a lot of character. And that's something that uh, we pride ourselves on. And it was good to get a big winner from the home crowd. I know that you didn't want to talk to us at training. I could just see it in your eye that you were very intense this week, and the whole team was. You could just feel that they were ready to bounce back because you didn't really like what happened on the Doomsday Double. No, there's no doubt it was a very tense week for us, and uh, it's a good thing, though. We turned that tension into intensity tonight, and uh, especially on the defensive end, when we needed to make stops, we came up with stops. Cameron made some big plays uh, in the first quarter to kind of keep us in there, and then uh, C and I started to make a contribution, so it was a good team effort. Uh, just going on that team effort, five players in double figures. That's exactly what you need, don't you, to sort of keep getting these sort of wins? Yes, contributions, especially off the bench from uh, Shane Froling and Matty Alexander. Uh, they did a very good job, and they come in and give us points, and that's what we need to kind of uh, alleviate some of the pressure off of our main three scorers. Gold Coast next week, no problem? The Gold Coast, they'll be a tough team. Dave Claxton always has them playing hard, um, and I'm sure they'll review this tape and come up with something to try and throw us out of sync. But uh, we'll go back this week and work hard like we have been, and uh, hopefully we'll come up with another win. Good on you, Derek. Well done. Thank you. So there's Derek Rucker, our MVP tonight, and he, he did have a really 
truly remarkable game. I know we say it every week, but he just keeps coming out. And I know he was very upset with that Adelaide game. And uh, not too many teams are going to stop him like Adelaide, I don't well, think. Well, absolutely. And it's, uh, it's, I guess it's a situation where uh, if Derek's had a bad night last week, you better not be the next team that plays him. But uh, I, I was really pleased with, uh, with the Suns' attitude tonight. They came at it and went about it clinically. And uh, with the Hobart Tassie Devils, I think they've got a future there, and particularly David Stiff. I mean, he was just absolutely outstanding all night long. Uh, he gave us all those dunks, but really his contribution was, was hard work and probably leadership from the middle. OK, well, let's have a look at the top scorers now. And uh, as we said, Cameron Dickinson had a fine game as well. Let's not take anything away from him. Hit something like six three-pointers and uh, well, three or four of those coming in, in one quarter, basically. Well, he was six of nine for the game, and I think he was at one stage five of five in that first quarter, of which two were four-point plays. So that's just outstanding. We have a look at the Devils scoring there. Well, David Stiff led the way with 30. Uh, Jonathan Roberts with 26, we felt, didn't seem to be doing a lot, but when you looked at his stats, they were good. OK, so in the end, a great win from the Suns. A nice way to start the season at the Furnace. I think we're in for a good one. So make sure you keep watching Network 10. We've got all the basketball over the weekend with airtime, hoops, TV, you name it, we've got it. So we're the basketball station. We'll see you next week. Goodbye for now. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to... I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Nice, sweet, fantastic. Move up on a bit, yes, you move it. Funny woman, you're nice, sweet, fantastic. Bridge up on a bit, move a big Titanic. Come physically fit, physically fit, physically, physically, physically. Move up, physically fit, physically fit, physically, physically, physically. Move up. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it.